suckers, particularly white suckers, are the last frontier of native species here in the Mountain West. What a treat, honestly, to have right in our backyard growing up here. It's something that we uh, we certainly don't take for granted, you know. Special sport fish, we have them littered in our own backyard. It's, uh, it's worth the chase. The white sucker is a native species. He's been here longer than we have. He's wily, he's difficult to fool. And when you hook one, at least for the first half of the fight, it's like hooking into the back of a freight train. They're pure power. Yeah, we're shifting to suckers, you know, because we really want to see them bounce back to where they were pre, pre stocking of trout, your carp, everything like that. Suckers are just better in trout. I mean, they're prettier, you know, they have, you know, such cool mouths when you hook a fish. It's just special getting it in that nice gummy stuff they have there. And that's why my biggest reason is their lips. The sucker eat is a tricky eat, you know? He's, he's like that wily coyote. You're not gonna get an immediate grab and pull and know you have him fooled. It's gonna be subtle, it's gonna tease you, and you have to really be on top of your game to make sure as soon as you see that subtle little twitch, game on. You know, we're gonna start traveling for these guys. You know, they're just about everywhere out west, so we're stoked on it. We got some trips in the books. And... I mean, suckers are the new frontier. The wave of carp has passed, the wave of giant trevally has passed, the wave of arapaima has passed. The next thing we're gonna see is Jocko Lucas crashing through somewhere in the west trying to find the elusive white sucker. Okay. Yeah. We are suckers. Watch.